Hi, I'm Judy, and here's another Read the Stars video. Um, the article we put up today has to do with the government of the United States and the chart of the United States. At Read the Stars, we've covered a lot of places around the world, most recently Japan and the Middle East. There's a lot going on, a whole lot going on. Um, so I would urge you to watch the news, especially these next few days. We have a no-fly zone established for Libya, which is going to lead to Lord knows what. We have uh, the Saudis and the Bahrainis holding down their protesters with points of the gun. God knows what that's going to wind up like. And then we have Japan. And, you know, they're all very serious crises. There's no question. And um, there are a lot of people talking about where is the USA? Where is the USA? And where's the leadership? And where's this and where's that? And then today, Secretary of State Clinton made us an astounding statement about how she's not going to keep her position into the second term of Barack Obama, if there is one. And I just went, oh my gosh. And then, you know, I realized, Americans, and I am one, <laughs> we have... A little problem in our family. Um, we have sort of a dysfunctional thing going on and some skeletons in the closet. So I wrote an article about it. I hope you'll enjoy reading it. Go to the site readthestars.com and you'll find out more about that. Um, I hope you also had a very nice St. Patrick's Day and that you're ready for the next few days. Um, the best way to prepare yourselves for spring is to clean out all of the things that don't belong in your life anymore. Um, you know, Get yourself feeling and looking the way that you want to look as though you're starting all over again, because we are. This is the beginning of the new year in astrology. So we get all kinds of fun. We get January 1st, then we get Chinese New Year, and then this is a whole other new year. Yes, it is. It's the sun's cycle, the beginning of the cycle of the seasons. So let's look at it that way, and let us hope that we can gather ourselves together as people, we the people in the United States, we the people in the world, and bring a new maturity and a new seriousness to the gravity of the situations that we have in the world and bring some solutions that make at least a little bit of sense.